Hello everybody and welcome to another Godot shader tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to make a rectangle with the Godot shader. So imagine that we have a black screen like this. Okay. So if we somehow create a, a variable in the shader that this variable for this part, this part of the screen is one and for this part of the screen is zero. In, this, in the same way, in the same way we create another variable with this part of the screen is 1 and this part is 0 and if you multiply these two things 0 multiplied by 1 is 0 and 1 multiplied by 1 is 1 and 0 is the same way so we create a band okay in the same way I create a band horizontal band and I multiply these two things and I can create a rectangle I can show my rectangle with four variable Okay, x, y is the top left corner position and w is the width and high, h is the uh, height. So I create a vector 4 which first two value are the position of top left corner and other two value is the width and the height. Okay, so see, it. let's see it, uh, that in the, in the code. I already set up a small shader program in the Godot. Okay, I, I declared a rect, a rect variable which is vector 4 and all its value is Point 0.2. I, I put the uniform so I, I can control it from here. So I can control it from here. And I declare another variable, variable which is called blur. We will see how, how we can use blur. We use blur in a step, a step, a step, a step a smooth function. So, and I initialize my, vari my variable with the zero. And I draw my variable on the screen which is here. So, Let's create the first one. All right. So I say if uv dot x. Okay. I should initialize my uv also. So I create vector two. Uv is equal to uv. If uv dot x is greater than rect dot x. Okay. Uh, please put c one. Okay. It's simple like that. But you know. I don't I don't like this sharp edge, so I use smith a step a smooth function. So I say C is smith a smooth step, like uh, <coughs> so it would be the first value is uh, rect dot x and the second value is rect dot x minus blur. If you don't know what is the step smooth function, please watch the previous video. And uh, and the sec the last value is dot x. Okay. Okay. So this is more smooth now. It's more pleasant. So here I should uh, actually. I should write this plus. Yes. Okay, so this is our first band. Okay, so I can declare it. So float band one. Okay, band one. All right, and uh, and uh, I create the second band. So C is equal to smooth step. Same way, I copy this all of them, but this time it's going to plus the width. The width is the third value, so I say the third value is z, same as here, all right? But this time we want the opposite one, so I choose should minus this one, okay? So this should be the second one, load. B two, okay, and B two, and our C is now is equal to B one multiplied by B two. So we have a band, and I can control it with the first one and the second one, as you can see. But now we are going to make the horizontal band. I just copy these two and paste them, okay. So B3 and B4. So B3 would be the second value, Y. 
and uh, this is going to be y as same and this is going to be y and this is going to be last one which is w and y and w so i can multiply b3 and b4 so i should change this one to y and this one also to y so we have our horizontal band and we have our so we now should multiply all of them b1 multiply by b2 multiply by b4 and we have our rectangle i can change it i can change its y position i can change its width and i can change its height okay and i also can change its blur this is our blur thank you for watching see you soon